Hilver body. Uh, this is Nasdaq 100. And these are some of the companies you need to check before trading this index. And I know you've seen a lot of people making money using Nasdaq 100. Because some people, uh, they just know the entry and they know how to make money using this thing. And it's not about prediction. It's all about reading the news. This means you need to read the news first before you trade Nasdaq 100 or else you're going to lose your money. But before you lose your money, you have to check some of these things. Let's check Facebook, Google, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, and Alibaba and Twitter. These are some of the companies that we need to check before trading Nasdaq 100. But before we do that, let's go to MetaTrader 5 and check the movement. Yes, so here is the MetaTrader 5 and you can check the movement like uh, from yesterday or today morning. But I think this yesterday, let me show you what happened yesterday before you lose your money. This means you just have to take necessary precautions and have a nice time trading. But before we do that, let me just do this and show you. You see, it went up there and today I'm predicting from half past three, I'm predicting this, I'm predicting this. Uh, let me show you again, I'm predicting this. No, not this one, right here. I just want this line. And from half past three, I'm predicting this. This thing, it has to drop a little bit, a little bit, roughly somewhere here. Somewhere here. Then, from half past four or from four o'clock Central South African time, then we're going to check this. Around half past four, we check this. I don't know about your... your uh, the time in your country, but from South Africa, normally around half past four, we normally check this movement. After dropping here on 13,174.50 cents, it has to go back, it has to bounce back. It has to bounce back and go up here a little bit further. And that's how it's going to reverse is going to go to that direction from half past four because from Thursday, meaning today, Nasdaq 100, they say it has gained almost 3.76%. Uh, so, and I'm predicting again, predicting again that it has to go up again, maybe roughly to maybe 5% or 6%. And we're going to check that movement around half past four. But for now, let's, clo let's close this because now I'm recording this around three o'clock but before i close this thing let's check the movement from three o'clock to five o'clock not to five past three you see you can tell it has to drop a little bit further it has to drop it has to drop first before reversing at half past four like the movement like from now to half past three it will show the, the the market direction for half past four now it has to drop a little bit further and from half past four it has to take two directions but i'm certain that it will take the buy direction because of uh, let me show you the news because i checked the news before predicting that it will be a buy at four o'clock or half past four
oh, I wasn't wrong when I said Twitter is part of the companies that falls under Nasdaq 100. I was 100% certain about that one, but I wasn't sure. And I read here, then I scrolled down here. Oh, the Nasdaq added about 3.2%. You see, let me do this, but we can't do that now. But you can tell it's 3.2. And a few minutes ago, I said it was 3.7. I was lying on that one. This 3.2. So you can tell we're expecting uh, the buy direction for half past four. Let's go back. This one, it has to drop. It has to drop till half three or th past four. And from half past four, it's going to take another direction. So for now, I'm going to close this video and I'm going to add another one later on when I'm going to show you the movement around half past four. Then from there, we're going to talk a little bit more and wish you happy trading. Hey guys, as I said earlier on, when I said like when the numbers are green and they are positive, that means the market direction is going to be a buy. It's going to go on the buying direction like where it is red and the numbers are dropping just know you have to place sell stop or just ex execute sell just like that and let's go to meta trader 5 and see what is happening in that side and let's check you see on the trades that i placed i was placing for reversal and this reversal is going to happen immediately after this half past four like when like it enters five foot lock and when it, it goes back it is going to retrace back it's going to trace and it's going to go back earlier when i said it's going to drop yes now we can tell it is dropping and the last part that i didn't mention earlier on it was this one it was these numbers when they're green and they're positive you have to know that that is a buy direction and when they are red you just have to know that is a sell and you have to know under nasdaq we have facebook google apple tesla microsoft alibaba and twitter all these numbers when they are red execute sell sell stop sell it doesn't matter and when they are green